All right, in this step, we are connecting our lead form to Zapier in order to send an automated outbound WhatsApp message. By the way, you can use any tool. You don't need to use Zapier. You can also use make.com or any other connection tool that you might use that allows you to send a code snippet. So in order to set this up, we first go to Zapier and select the lead form that we want to connect. In my case, I'm just showcasing that with Facebook lead ads forms. So you're gonna select here in Zapier your Facebook lead ads. You're gonna select a tri trigger event as new leads and then click on continue. You're gonna select your page and the form that you want to connect. Click on continue and load a record from your phone. Ideally, you already have a, a lead coming in in that form you will need the uh, phone number field and the name field and the email field in that form in order to send a outbound WhatsApp message. Now, I just created a new form. That's why I don't have a lead here yet. That's why I just named the company name field as my phone number field. Basically, it doesn't really matter what the field is named. I just um, modified this so we have an actual phone number field. In your form, this would look like this, that you have a phone number field where the lead actually puts in their phone number. Make sure they put it in with the uh, international country code uh, into your form. Otherwise, we cannot send a WhatsApp message. Now, we have this data. We have the email. We have the first name. We have the last name. And we have the phone number. By the way, you don't necessarily need the last, last name. You could also have a field that is uh, lead full name, right? Uh, then you would just always send the full name um, in the WhatsApp message. So you would then say, for example, hello, and then full name of the lead. Um, now, in my case, I have separated it into first and last name, so I can uh, call them by their first name, right? But it doesn't matter. You can do any um, any variable that you want. Great. Now let's continue with the selected record. In the second step, we are connecting Zapier. And here you're actually um, going ahead and search for code and you click on code and that's code by Zapier. Don't worry, you don't need to code. You just need to paste something in. Then you can click on run JavaScript and you're going to click on continue and then configure it. I have already configured it. So I'm just going to delete that one and going to work with this one. You're going to click on continue. And here you're gonna put in the variables. Now, in order to get this, we're gonna go back to Setter AI. And here is your code field. You do not need to um, change anything here. You just click on copy code. Go ahead, uh, go over to your Zap, and then copy and paste this in here. If there is some code before here as a placeholder inside, make sure to delete everything, and then only delete the Setter AI and then only insert the setter AI code into here. <clears throat> now, next we have these variables, okay? We need to put these variables into our fields if we have them. Now, at first, go, go ahead and create five fields. I'm just gonna delete these fields here just for our purpose. Now I have created five variable fields just go ahead and copy the API key, put it in here, copy phone number, put it in the second one, copy the name, put it in here. You have to use the exact variables in order to match this correctly. And also copy your message template variable, in our case, first name here. This is likely the same variable as here. Super. Now we're going to start by filling in the API key. You're going to go to Setter AI and click on the here. Just open it in a new tab, create new API key, and we're just going to call it test new one. Uh, copy that API key because you will never see that API key again. So click on copy and paste it into here. Now the phone number field will be filled by our Facebook lead, lead submission. So go in here and I have that as raw company name for you. That will be raw phone number or phone number, whatever you have your field mapped, map it here. The name, I'm gonna save the first name into here. So 
this is the act this is the name that is actually given to the ai how it should call your lead okay um, there is a little bit distinguishment between how the ai should call your lead and how the first message template first name is usually i would just use the same variable because if you once call them by their first name, you will always call them by their first name. Or if you once call them by their full name, you will always call them by their full name. So we're going to put the exact same variable also into this field. And lastly, we're going to map the email because uh, we need the email for the scheduling part, right? If you schedule, for example, into Calendly, then the Calendly needs the email of the lead to schedule. Now, if you don't have the email, it's also no problem because then AI will later ask for the lead's email before scheduling. But this way you already give the AI the correct email of the lead. So um, yeah, the AI doesn't need to ask anymore. Great, now we have everything in here that we need. We're gonna click on continue and we're gonna test this. Let me pull up my WhatsApp. Let's test this step. We got a response status 200, that's great. And we just got an outbound message from our Facebook lead ads, perfect. Now with this, you have successfully set up your WhatsApp outbound messaging. So every lead that comes into Facebook lead ads will automatically receive a message within seconds um, by your AI appointment setter. And then when they reply, they will be engaged by the AI until they book an appointment, great. Make sure to publish your Zap and turn it on so it's actually live. Make sure it is actually turned on here. 